Alrighty. Hey there, guys, it's Silva, your host. And after a few tech issues, we are back with some Power Wash Simulator. To those of you who are watching live, welcome, welcome. We have Mr. Jonathan with us. Say hello again for the second time. Yo, how'd you hang in? Indeed, that is a question. How is it hanging? So yeah, we're back. Tech issues are tech issues. We'll be fine. It's all good. Korea, continue. And they will go up. Right. Here we are. Resume job. Why did it want to crash and be terrible? It just can't handle the intense experience that is Power Wash Simulator. Right, let's get you back in. Confirm. Invite friend. There is Mr. Jonathan. Cool. In you go. Yeah. Back to it. I'm being it. dragged back in. I'm being back, dragged back in, Tommy. He's going. He's going to watch that van and he's going to like it. Oh, yeah. Gonna like it. Gonna get nice and clean. <laughs> nah, I love the way you do that. Nice and clean. All right. I don't know. I just wonder, Leo Mon, if it may have um, imploded the powers of reality. Right, I'm going to let you um, finish cleaning that while we get all the stream stuff back up. Because tech issues be a bit of a pain in the butt. Okay. Ready to rumble. Let's get ready, let's get ready, let's get ready to rumble. Watch us wreck the mic, watch us wreck the mic, watch us wreck the mic. Psych. Oh, what, a, what a good TV show that was. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. So, like, I want to say it's so intricate. Like, you can't just blast an object with water. you got to blast it at the right angle. Is it really an angle situation? Yeah, why do you think I'm on the floor? Oh, mate, I know I worship. Me, I know, I know I worship you, mate. But yeah, you know, you're not that much of a god. I, d I don't think I don't think that's something anybody would like to hear on a stream. Okay, thank you. Ah, uh, so wait, we have to actually. Well, this isn't. This is painfully uh, inaccurate because if I tried to kneel like this, I'd never get back up again. I would probably tear so many muscles, and just, just destroy, destroy body parts. You'd hear everything crackle and crunch on the way down. Nice clean body. Nice and clean, yeah. Yeah. Door clean. What else needs doing? I think we've got it all, right? Oh, we need to we need to clean its backside. Oh god. Its backside's all filthy. Mm. Oh, oh god. That that is something I did not need, but I appreciate it all the same. Right. There's also a to-do list as well. Press start for that. No, no, it's, I've, got it, I've got it on the side. Oh, tyres. Tyres need doing. Apparently tyres need doing. Huh. 
Have found we got... that filthy dirt. Have we got all the tyres? There we yes! go. Yes! Look at this job. Complete! And then if you press start, it shows us like a rela a time lapse of us watching it. Oh, I've actually got the um, right outfit on in that clip. Oh, it's actually got the thing before we crashed. Yeah, and if you can press play, it just like a time lapse. Okay. Who's watching it? That's fine. Oh yeah. Clean the back garden. So we got the van. Yeah. Clean the back garden. Hey Doc, I hope you like a challenge, because I'm pretty sure I've got the dirtiest backyard you've ever seen. That's not me bragging, by the way. I had nothing to do with it. I've just moved back to town for a bit to help my folks, who are both down on their last knee and rented what I thought was a great little place. Should have questioned why there weren't any garden pigs in the ad. They must have bred rhinos here or something. Anyway, my girls are itching to go out to go, to, go, to get out there, and I don't w want them still itching when they get back inside. So please do your thing. So basically, it's like helping family and friends at the beginning, and then you branch out into bigger things. Okay. Oh look! Have I got to let you back in again, or you're already in? No, no, I'm in. Oh, and you can. You can move the, the footstool. You can move it around. How do we do that? So you press, you look at it, press down, and then you can move it. Oh, okay, right. Anyway, I'll I'll, I'll get the I'll get the uh, the I'll dog get, nice and I'll clean. Do, you can do the shed. Yeah, let's get this dog. Mm, look at that. Nice. Got get got that uh, muck clean. There we go. Get that shed door. Give it a thorough cleaning. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to give this credit. It's a lot more interactive than Lawnmower Simulator. Hey! <laughs> hey! You never played Lawnmower Simulator! You hired me! Yes, I you, hired you. Did, you. Yeah, you did what a trooper did. You outsourced. We, yeah, we, we outsourced. We outsourced to, to foreign labor. Oh, dear. Hey, I'm not that foreign. Come on. No. No, you just um, you're just a miner at heart, and we lo we love a good working class miner. No, I go. Don't pit. When I when I work when I work, kid, we lived in a cardboard box. Cardboard box, yeah, luxury. Luxury. But now um, you were the only you were the only thing keeping um, keeping lawnmower simulators together. If I'd, if I'd have done that on my own, I'd have got so bored in a matter of minutes that I wouldn't have persisted with it at all. So, um... You held that one together and you deserve the credit there. Oh, thank you. Do I hit? Do you? Do I hear one of your cats uh, clinking about? Uh, no, you hear the washing machine. Oh, it's the washing machine, is it? Yeah, I need to bring, drag it out and rebalance it, but it's, you know, it's a, a nightmare to do. Because I have to move the couch and then drag out the drag out the thing, make sure it's balanced, and then put it back in and make sure it's still balanced when it's back in. Got ya. Oh, no, 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 Leomon, Leomon, no, don't misunderstand. Me and Mr. Jonathan playing Lawnmower Simulator was a mutual decision. <clears throat> but I, I, when I saw it, I, I, I felt so immediately bored that I was like, you know what? Jonathan seems genuinely excited. Jonathan can be our host for this, and I will co-pilot. And he has saved it. I wouldn't have persisted. We all, we all, uh, we, uh, the viewers enjoyed the lawnmower. And uh -huh. we'll come back maybe next month. Yeah, I did say to Leo, Mom, we're going to have a break from it for a while. But we will come back. 
<clears throat> the, uh, the only thing that got me there, like, I didn't mind it, but that very last hour that we did at, like, 11 o'clock at night where we're trimming tiny little corners, trying to get the 1%, I was like, no, that's a bit much. We're going to take a break for a bit from that. Yeah, which, which is acceptable. Yeah. Because that just, that going around with a little trimmer trying to get the 0.1%, oh my god, it was painful. Like, mowing the main garden's fine, dude. But it's when you're having to go around the little corners doing the 0.1% bits. You'll be fine, Leo, Mom. You'll be fine. <laughs> I'll be waiting, but... She'll, she'll be washing her mane that night or seeing which bottles of the bathroom sink taste best. Washing her mane. She is a lioness, don't you know? Oh, of course. Yeah. Now, I'm very slowly working on this shed. I honestly don't know what I'm going to play in terms of retro stuff once I finish Digimon World. Because that's got like maybe one more part left. So I am... Um, I aren't sure yet. That's all we ask, Leo, Mom. Your support and your um, your modding, your 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 modding. I I like you doing your mod checks and being our supporting person for um for in for game related information. Jonathan is our our quirky banter and also our 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 resident Sheffield. Yeah, Sheffield. I had something. I had something. That was it. That was it. You are. You are. You are basically our. You're our random trivia guy. No, no. I do. I do try. You, you see, I, 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 I like. I like to like research like topics and stuff. Because mm. uh, I mean, I've been. Uh, I've been doing quite a heavy topic at the moment, actually. Yeah. I've um I've been researching the history of the Church of the Hobus Witnesses, and that's been well, an interesting well now. deep dive. Yeah, yeah. It's been, it's been very interesting uh, learning about their colourful history. I imagine that is definitely a word a word you would use to describe it. Yeah, I had a friend called Kimmy, who was um a Jehovah's Witness, really sweet lass. Really friendly. We were really good friends for the couple of um, for the couple of years that I knew her, when I was um, doing one of my uh, college diplomas before going on to my degrees. And uh, a real, um, real good lass. And she was a Jeho she and her whole family were Jehovah's Witnesses. You tend to find its families because one of their main like rules is. You can't be friends with other people that know, in quote, out quote, the truth. Um, and still be friends with them. So if, if you meet someone who doesn't know, who will say they don't know Jesus, you can like be friends with them, but you're friends with them with the intention to convert them. Or, but, if you meet, but if you met someone like me, who is a Christian, you know, I know the truth. But choose to reject it and like worship a false idol, they wouldn't be allowed to be friends with me. But oh, that's ah. Oh, but and yeah, like I, I Jesus, mean, that's how it Jesus is our Lord. This is literally the freaking the Lord's son. You you don't get any more legitimate than that. 
Yeah, I mean the other one, the other one that I find quite interesting, and they do it, and it's it's very it's a very good way of doing it, and it's very clever. They would take quotes from the Bible and just take snippets, like two like two word answers, and they'll put it into like bite sized pieces. But what they are doing there are removing the context of the text, and changing it because as a result. Ah, right. Leomon said something. Wouldn't, um, wouldn't that fall under bearing false witness? Um, I mean, in a sense. I mean, it was weird, really. Just, um, how she was so strict about anything related to the Jehovah's Witness stuff. Yeah, outside of that, she was like, the, she was like the sweetest, like, like, okay, I'm going to tell a story years ago, right? There was, um, there was a day when I was on campus, um, going to attend a class. And I, um, I, I collapsed both of my ankles. This was many years ago. This is me. I mean, anybody who's a regular to chat, you already know the deal already, I... With my muscular condition, I do myself so many, so many inconvenient muscular injuries, strains, pulls, tears, twisting things, knackering tendons in knees, all that kind of stuff, just by moving around. And I had a particularly bad day when I was um, due to go to a class, and I was really struggling. I'd just completely done my ankles in. And... Uh, Kimmy saw how much I was struggling. And uh, me and her weren't even in any of the same classes or anything. But she saw me and she saw how much pain I was in. And she said to me, Have you got any painkillers or anything you can take? And I said, No. I, uh, I don't have my medication in my bag at the moment. I took it this morning. And I'm not due my uh, next dose until I get home. So what I've got is what I've got. And she said, but you, you, she said, she was like, you're really struggling there. Are you sure you're going to be all right? And I doubled down and I'm like, don't you worry, I'll be fine. And then, but then she just looked at me and she was like, no, I'm going to go and I'm going to help you get to your next class. I, uh, I, I, I shit you not. She went to the support staff, got me a wheelchair and literally pushed me across campus to my class. And then freaking, you know, still came back to check in on me at the end of the day. Before I um, went to go and push said wheelchair back to the, um, to the support staff's um, building where they kept all the wheelchairs and stuff. And um, go home. And uh, she was she was a really good lass. In the end, um, oh, she she was great, Leomon. She um, ended up getting with a guy that she really really got along with from another one of her classes. Um, Polish guy, actually. I don't remember his name. All I remember is that he was a Polish guy. <coughs> he was taking some of the same classes as her. Tall guy, like medium brown hair. Very, uh, very, very messy kind of medium brown hair. And, uh, yeah, they got together. And I was just so happy for them on the, uh, the last day of term when I saw them, uh, walking out, like, holding hands together. I'm like, you two are sweet. This is, this is some nice stuff here. It is so nice, yeah. Yeah. So nice. Okay, right, so we're doing good over here, but yeah, everybody who knows me knows that like 80% of the time, 
and Jonathan can attest to this, as can, as can our buddy Ace, as can Suki, anybody that knows me really well. I will literally struggle on, even though I'm in agony, to avoid having to ask other people for help. I am very yeah, stubborn like, like you're that. Like, you're like the Black Knight from Monty Python. It's only Tis a but a scratch. <laughs> Tis, Tis but, but a scratch. Yeah, exactly. Tis but a scratch. But you've literally collapsed both knees, sprained an ankle, freaking twisted your foot, and you've damaged one of the tendons in your knee. You're practically crawling. Nope, nope, we can keep going. It doesn't matter if I'm in mind-bending agony and I'm going to have to spend the next three days in bed, dosed up to my eyeballs on medication and painkillers. We can keep limping. Wait, what was set? Um, I'll, I'll read what Leo Mons said there and then I'll carry on at power washing things. Leo Mons said, got herself into some bother a few years ago. Answer the door to two Jehovah's Witnesses. Two tiny little old ladies that shorter than my short cell. I humoured them. They came back asking for m me by name. Then every time they came back, they asked for me by name. It got to the point where Mama Leo Mom would answer the door and tell them I wasn't home. Eventually they went away, cursed my too nice soul. Hey, I mean, like, if you're just been a nice, civil person and uh, talking to two old ladies, there's nothing wrong with that. And I mean, yeah. let's, let's be honest, Leo Mom. Uh, a lot of elderly people genuinely just enjoy the company because they don't get a lot of it, do they? So you're just doing that. You've got to remember as well, if it's a fate of being brought up in, you don't like see all the like um you can't you don't see all the red flags, I'm sorry. No. Is that most of the sofa? Have we got it all? Bit more there. Bit more there. How is anything this dirty? Well, I mean, the thing is, if they've not washed it for like literally twenty years. Yeah. I mean, Leo, Mom, there's, there's nothing wrong with just being kind and civil. The world yeah. needs more people these days that are going to be kind and civil. I've always said the best way to show people that are doing something wrong is to show them the right way to do it. I mean, I guess so. I could see that perspective. I'm confused. Have I missed a bit here? Honestly, Leo Mon, they were probably just two little old ladies appreciating the company. Right. Okay, we got the swing sofa and the swing sofa cushion. And plus, as well, the reason why uh, they were probably walking up and down your street is uh, so in the Jehovah's Witness Church, they essentially have to do a timesheet um, once every few weeks um, to give to their elders to basically state how much time they've spent basically being in the community telling people about Jehovah. Yeah. The only thing I never understood, right, is the strict rule against no blood transfusions, even though, you know, blood transfusions save lives. 
It's because I, I need to. I, that's that's partly why I started researching it myself because I want to find out the exact wording. Um, but from my limited understanding, basically they believe that the soul and body uh, runs exclusively in the blood. So therefore, by taking a blood transfusion, you are taking a part of someone else's soul and mixing it with your own, therefore corrupting your soul. Yeah, but... and, when your soul is cor- and when your soul is corrupted, it can't be recognised by God, therefore eternal damnation. But you'll die. Yeah, but it's they are willing a... to die. They are willing to die for the eter- to have the eternal afterlife. Then accept something that they see as evil. I can respect the different perspective, but that just seems, at the risk of sounding like Spock, so illogical to me. Like you know. I'm looking at it less from a matter of faith and more from a perspective of, you know, wanting to be alive. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Like, no like no disrespect on a personal level, just... Mate, mate, it, it, mate, it takes a lot to offend me. I mean, yeah, you've tolerated me for, what, nearly four years now, Johnny Boy? I don't tolerate you. You're a, you're a, you're a mate. <laughs> I know. I'm joking, dude. Calm down. Calm down. God, it's got to be nearly four years you've known me now. Yeah, something like that. Because we, um... Because I first got to know you, like, what, like, back in 2020. It was either slightly, be- slightly before or at the start of the pandemic, wasn't it? Um, yes. And we kind of hung out a little bit between the lockdowns, and then we started to hang out a lot more a couple of years ago, didn't we? Yeah, um, well, I'm pretty sure I still, I knew you when I was still with my ex, so that must have been, like, yeah, 2019. Like, I knew of you, but we didn't know each other until, like, 2020. Oh, yeah, yeah. like, my brain... Like, I've I've seen you enough time with Mr. Ace. Oh yeah, because you were always working. I just don't think you knew me personally at that time, did you? You just served me a few times. Oh no, more than a few times. You'd served me a lot. Yeah, I still remember your order. I haven't. I haven't had a freaking chicken royale in so long, dude. I might have to go get one at some point soon. No, you don't. You don't have a chicken royale. You used to have the, uh, the bacon, bacon double cheese, cheese. XL, yep. XL ad mayonnaise. That that was me. Extra and, bacon, extra cheese. And uh, yeah, that's exactly it. But I With have... a portion of six chicken nuggets occasionally if he was really hungry. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep, that is and exactly And if the machine it. was working, a McFlurry. <laughs> yep. Well. The, the, the Burger King equivalent. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, I did start in the last couple of years having chicken royales as well and kind of alternating between the two, but I think you'd left oh, by yeah. that point. You, you used to like having them with cheese and bacon. They were yeah. nice. Yeah. Anyway, I'll tell you something. I wanted a customer come in. And I, this customer was like, "Can I have a, can I have a McFlurry, please?" And I, and I and I went to him, and I was like, "Okay, yeah, yeah, we can we can do." I forget what the Burger King was called. It's been that long now. I forgot what what they used to call it. Yeah, the you've Burger been, King. You've been free from servitude for so yeah, long. Yeah, for so long. <laughs> oh lord. But no, it was um, yeah, it was like, "Can I have a McFlurry, please?" And I was like, "Oh, I'm really um." Yeah, we can do your McFlurry, but it's actually da 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 because you're in Burger King. And it was like he, he leant in, and he leant right into my face, and it was like I know where effing I know where the effing I am. And I was like, but you asked for a McFlurry, and then he stormed out, basically effing and blinding. Uh, and then there was this other lady, and I was like, um, hello, can I help you? I'm I'm really sorry for his language. And then he's like, don't effing hell. Apologise for me, I'll effing swear for effing want to. And then walked out, and I was like, oh, okay. <clears throat> the amount of abuse that you had in that job, it was not worth it, dude. I laugh but, about it now. Yeah, dude, but you're, you're a very patient guy, and I don't think you ever deserved all that garbage. I mean, there were one, there were one or two customers that made me want to, like, throw up when I was like, being anxious to make me. But, you know, I, I passed. I, I specifically remember the one that accused you of being ableist. 
The American lady. No, no, she, she didn't accuse me of being ableist. She accused me of being a massive racist. What? I thought it she. Was, yeah. I thought she accused no, she, you of being ableist. No, no, she accused. Well, no, she, she did that as well. Racist and ableist. She basically, she basically accused me of suggesting that she was a creature of the animal kingdom, which. God knows where she got that from. And then, said you were. Um... Said you were discriminating against the disabled and you didn't like the disabled, and I'm sat there and thinking like, you know, little does she know that one of that one of his really good friends has got a lifelong medical condition, and you literally yeah, but it's you, one of them into you can't you, you know you can't really it's a bit state daft, it like, you can't state it I don't, I don't like disabled people I'm a disabled friend like yeah, you know basically basically yeah. You know, it's not like you, it's not like whenever you and me meet up, you go out the way to accommodate me or anything. No. <sighs> See, I, I, our Jonathan's a wicked, wicked man, really. Yeah. 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 Oh. And 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 the evilest of the evil. Uh, anyway. Yeah. Oh, well, for, for, yeah, fair, sir. For, seriously, yeah. Seriously. One thing I can say, he, he dealt with way too much abuse in that job, Leo, Mom. I mean, this was the same lady that accused our Latino worker of being a, of being a racist as well. Was it? I know, I know the staff member you mean there when you said the uh, Latino last. Yeah. I know the one you mean. She's left now, actually. She left before me. She, um, she did it. Oh, she should have finished now. Uh, she did an apprenticeship to become a um, receptionist. Okay. I mean, I don't blame her. I wish I could have. I wish I could have just come in at, at that moment when you were been accused of all that stuff and leaned up against the counter and went, "Hello, can I have a bacon double cheese, please?" Just, yeah, just no. lean up against the counter on my crutches and everything. Honestly, honestly, mate, silver. They're not. They're actually not worth it. Like, the the real, like people who, like she was clearly ill. I think I generally feel what it what it was. Well, Mr. Jonathan, from little contact I've had with you, I bet the whole Comic-Con she found full of it, yeah. My whole, yeah. Comic, my whole Comic-Con she was full of it. I generally think what the issue was, she was, she was an American lady, and I think she must have just... I can <laughs> now, only presume I'm gonna politely she had come from an area... I'm going to politely ask you to preface this politely, because we have a Suki. Uh. No, no, I'm not, I'm not saying because she was American. Okay. She was like that. I'm saying because she came from America, she may have had to deal with a lot of people that oh. thought like that. Yeah, I mean, Suki's told me some stories from when she was, you know, a little growing up in the South about um, a couple of instances of the prejudice that she faced, and uh, yeah. it, it doesn't sound like nice stuff. It doesn't sound like nice stuff. At I, all. I mean, that, that's what I'm saying. That's all I can presume that this that this lady had had to deal with situations like this so much that. She, I was just an outlet for her. I mean, it doesn't make it right, but it somewhat makes it understandable. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> like, you can understand the perspective. I get that. No Comic Con fund. Oh, speaking of a uh, Comic Con, uh, an anime convention, uh, mine's coming up next month. Yep. The twenty third to the twenty second in Newcastle if people if people are going. Oh yeah. This are you working bit... on that are you working on that pool? On the pond? I'll let you have the pond actually, I'm stealing things, right? I've been doing things up this side. No second. no you're not No no you're stealing mate 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 it's dirt. No one no one calls like Bagsy on dirt. Just just get it get get that filth cleaned. Oh, get I'll, nice. oh I'll clean it. And clean here. Oh God! That... I want it. I want. It, I want it as clean as a virgin. Oh, for Jesus! No, oh, God! Oh, that 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 just bore into my soul in an ungodly way. All right. Okay. I may need therapy now, but okay. Hey, it's the actor, mate. I played some. Uh, I played some creepy characters in my time. Yeah. Yeah.
<laughs> you, you walked in. You walked into shed cleaning commentary, Marcus. How you doing, my guy? Hope life's treating you well, bud. How is everything in Marcus Land? It's nice to have you in. Which little part of the shed am I missing? The roof. No, there's a tiny part of the actual main shed body. Oh, is it there? No, not quite. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really using the 40 degree nozzle very much because it's too wide, it's not getting like the dirt in the first pass. Right, I'm gonna switch. The stubby gun. I prefer this one, the yellow one. Yeah, that's uh, 15. <clears throat> there we go, the main shed's clean. They've recently added a um, new DLC, because the game's that popular, they keep adding DLC. Did you buy any soaps yet? Different ones clean different stains. Not yet, we've just started and we're saving I, up I've, some money. Hmm? Yeah, I've heard about the soaps. They, 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 they do wear out very quickly, but they're very, they're very quick, essentially. It allows you to use like the 40 degree nozzle, and it will just rinse everything off. Yeah. Are you a fan of um, Lawnmower Simulator? Oh, sorry, wrong one. Of uh, Power Wash Simulator 2, Marcus. This is my first time playing it. I mean, I will be honest. I do like the fact that the um, it's it just feels a bit more interactive. But at the same time, I do respect Jonathan's counter argument that Silver, you haven't really played Lawnmower Simulator. It's a bit more interactive ah, like the good. controls and stuff. Mm. <clears throat> Don't get me wrong, I mean, it's uh, it's strangely chill. Oh my goodness, it's so like satisfying, like doing the um, the lawn furniture. I'm cleaning the lawn mower off. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Now this is a very small lawnmower compared to what we, you were riding the other day. Yeah, and that's the one thing I really want to add. I wonder if hover mowers are um, a thing in different countries. You reckon? Good. Good. Oh, by the way, I forgot to ask Marcus, my dude. Are you uh, are you sub to Suki? I never asked. I'm sure you are, but I haven't asked until this point. Ah, it's over. Yeah. Look at the percentage of clean. Look at look look at the percentage of cleanness. Ah. <laughs> yeah. uh, immaturity. It's funny because penis. Yeah, there yeah. we go. I'm not juvenile, I swear. Ah, yeah, dude. I was just wondering. I was just wondering. Right. I'm gonna very quickly. Check. Right, what's left? Lawnmower handles done. Right. Oh, you're over on this corner. Hey, dude. 
Hello. Yep. Alrighty. I'm just getting the rest of the lawnmower over here. Here we go. Gotta get the wheels. Okay. What am I missing on this lawnmower? Right, so let me have a look at the... Yeah, lawnmower's... Shot. Lawnmower's done. Right, lawnmower's done. Shed's done. Swing sofa roof. Okay. There's a jump button. Nope. Where is that? I believe you have a ladder to get to higher spots. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's, there's a footstool by the dog thing. I'll um, take the footstool then. There we go. Thank you for the heads up, Jonathan and Marcus. Appreciate it. Give me the cheeky squirt. Oh, I don't like a good cheeky squirt. You must only be able to buy the chemicals at the other job site. Oh, really? Yeah, cleaning liquids. Um, not the other job site. Um, <sighs> when when you're in between jobs, sorry. Hmm. Well, I can't buy um, cleaning supplies. Maybe because I'm helping you, only you can buy them. If you press the start button, there's a shop option in well, the start menu. We'll have a look here. I got modifications and. Um, Stuff like that, but... I don't think I can access it. It's a menu I've definitely seen earlier. We'll do it between the this job, then. Might be something you want to get between jobs. Yeah. By the way, I don't know what you've done, and I won't tempt fate and ask you to change or move it in any way, but there is no buzzing today. Oh, thank goodness. Like, I did, I did, I did, I did oil my um, headphones, so maybe that has helped re-establish connection. Like, uh, yeah, there's no buzzing today at all. But yeah, thank you, Marcus. We are on the roof.
We're three quarters of the way there. Unless we now have to clean the underside of it as well. Ah, what what's the show dirt button, dude? Um, the arrow key. Uh, the right arrow key. Ah, thank you. I did tell you this. Multiple uh, times. That's me. It's me not. It's me just zoning out and doing my own thing. Yeah, indeed. The silver way. The silver way. Yeah. Now, have you used that footstool? Yes, you have. At least there's a show dirt button here. I've got to say that being able to lock the nozzle on is a massive help. Oh yeah. Saves your, saves your thumbs. Now I can't see the last on this roof despite my best ability. So you may have to finish this roof in a moment. Yeah. I've got to say, for a PC game, the controls on the console aren't bad. Well, they've made it quite agreeable. I do, I do totally follow you there. Yeah. And do you know what? There's generally th there's a there's a degree of like percentage. Like if you get so much of the object clean, it will just like say, oh, you've done it. Yeah, it's not like Lawnmower Simulator where we're having to go through every blade of grass. Sounds like you're washing. You want, me hmm? you want me to finish off the shed, yeah? Yes, please. Just the roof. And, uh, yeah, cool. We've got the edging of the flower bed. Uh, there was, there's just bits of the shed you've missed okay. on the floor. You know, if you look right behind the shed where the roof hangs over, there's yeah. dirt in there. Ah, alright. Is it just the pond now? Yeah, roof's clean. Right, I'll get the... That pond is, um... Proving a bit unwieldy. I'll go for the bird house. I mean, I know it's filthy, but I mean, this guy's still got a good deal on this on this garden. Like it's oh, yeah. filthy, but the garden's gorgeous. It is a nice garden. Yeah, I don't disagree. 
Very lush and green. Oh god, did I miss things in the barbecue? I apologize. You missed things in the actual barbecue itself. Ah. It's absolutely it's absolutely filthy. Yeah, I do like that. How once you get to a certain point, even if there's a tiny bit left over, it says, you know, it's clean. It's but clean. Like, like just you just said. Get on with it. Yeah. Not, like I said, I prefer that. I think if they did that with Lawnmower Simulator, where it's like you get to a certain point and it's like, okay, it's adequately cut. You've done well enough. But well, it does do that, but different contracts are different. Like some contracts are just like, oh, you only need 95%. And they're easy. And then some are like, we want you to trim it down to every last blade of grass. Yeah, nine, you want, want it 99.9%. But like, the human eye can't perceive that. What we don't get. Try harder. Why are you so good at the game? Try harder, mate. Yeah. Can't get it down to 0.01%. Tough luck. Right, okay. I feel really cold tonight. It's cold up my way. Yeah, the like it's, it's for me. It's not cold, but it's like the wind is cold. Yeah, I might have to. The wind I chill. Might, that's the word I'm looking for. I might have to grab my jumper in a minute. I'm feeling a bit chilly. I've got chills. I'm multiplying. Like legit. If I wasn't, um, <clears throat> I would get comfy in bed. But, um, I don't have the energy or the fortitude to move the, um, the PS5 into the game room. Or, I mean, uh, sorry, what, what? move it from the game room, I should say. I mean, uh, what time do you have to be up tomorrow? Oh, Got no. A busy day tomorrow? No specific time. I just, um, I have to help, um, to coordinate that, um, or like run that campaign session tomorrow, don't I? That the, uh, the oh, local yeah. MP asked about. But that'll, again, that'll Silver's be... running running for the uh, the president of Portugal. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, there's no real time on that, so I'm probably going to do it early afternoon, which means I can stay in bed, veg out, and sleep late, which I fully plan to do, because I have not. Well, had... I would... hmm? Yeah, that sounds nice. I would say one thing I do like about. Uh, power wash simulator or the other simulator is you can just stop whenever you want. Yeah. So I could literally stop now and come back. Yeah. Oh, someone's uh. Uh. Yeah. Unlike the law, unlike lawnmower, where you have to get it down to the final grade of blast, grade, grade of blast, 
blade of grass. And it won't go. Then it, yeah, otherwise you can't finish and you forfeit the whole job. Whereas it's like we can go for another 30 minutes and then we can just come back in a future stream. Which, to be fair, I think I may... I don't like breaking my two-hour rule, but I'm so tired, I think I've only got half an hour left in me. Like, I'm passing out. Yeah. <laughs> that is quite random. I mean, yeah. uh, about what Marcus said about... Is Coca-Cola in Ukraine? Yeah, I, I assume. Oh, what's it like? I, uh, well, I know for a fact that, um, in the, oh, you, I just saw Ukraine. Um, I think we actually use, um, I think we use real sugar in ours, as opposed to a uh, high fructose corn syrup. Well, it depends what you mean by, like, sugar, because there's different, um, types, because our sugar... We use um, sugar beets, which is from potatoes, yeah. and then the, the sugar cane, and then obviously there's corn syrup. While you carry on with the pond, I'm going to Google search that to answer Marcus's question. What 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 was what the question like? You're like, uh, um, I'm going to pull up the ingredient list for Coca-Cola in the UK. Uh, well, sugar beets is definitely one of them. We'll see. Right. Okay. Yeah, it's real sugar. We use real sugar. Ingredients. Carbonated water. This is UK Coca-Cola. Carbonated water. Yeah. U.S. Coca-Cola uses high fructose corn sweetener, while European Coke uses cane sugar. This is likely the biggest take taste difference. The water used could also be a factor. Yeah, because I know um, Coca-Cola did try to once get into the bottled water industry. With because, Dasani. You know, yeah, with Dasani, because you know, it's not like we have a device in our house that you twist a lever and it produces water. No, no, no. We must get it from a bottle. Because, God forbid, <laughs> we don't know how to put it in a fridge yourself. You really, you really don't like this point, do you? It really bothers oh, you. Oh, I, I hate it. Oh, that, it tastes different. It tastes different. Put it in the fridge. <laughs> the man's broken. We have broken him, chat. Oh, no. I'm not broken on this. I'm bitter on this. Because, oh, that, it tastes different. Water... Believe it or not, water changes taste. Water changes its taste dependent on temperature. Do you know what else? A lot of other stuff changes flavour depending on taste. Like the changes changes taste depending on temperature. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. I mean, have you ever had an ice lolly where it's at room temperature and it's melted and it's just all the syrup? I it's not nice. I wouldn't eat one at room temperature. God no. Exactly. I'll take it exactly. We got all these, but yeah, you got all these other people. I just don't know what to do with this water. It's so much better from my tap. Well, do you let your tap run for like, you know, like 10, 15 seconds do you before like you it? put it? Do you, like do you, do you put your run? water in your fridge? No. I just, I just take it and suck it straight from the tap. It's not very nice. Yeah, that's probably why, mate. Are you all right there? Are you going to be okay? Be. I will be. I just It just annoys me that people are willing to pay for water, you know, via council tax, and then complain about having no money, but yet spending more money to buy bottled water. I mean, to be fair, I buy them when I'm out and about. I often carry a bottle with me. Yeah. So I have many bottles at home and I'll carry, I'll carry a bottle with me. I because mean, I'm sorry, if the council want to charge me, I mean, I mean, they've lowered it now, but at one stage they'll charge me 57 quid a month for, for water. That's still cheaper than mine. Uh, but well, yeah. that's because yours is like middle class water, isn't it? Middle class water. 
They sent it to college before, like, you know, put it in the taps. My, my, my water is college educated, therefore the water rate's higher. The water yeah. board charges me more because it's educated water. But yeah, Marcus, to answer your question, also, uh, let me put my hair down, chat. It's been, um, it's been up in a hyper. Oh, it's been up in a, sorry, low pony all day. Ever since I went to the barbers and had my shave. There we go. It's down again. My power is restored. Johnny, if you could finish up, I'm just going to fix my hair. How can Coca-Cola in the U in Ukraine is too sweet and doesn't... Oh, UK, not Ukraine. Yeah, corn syrup is like... It's Corn syrup is like 15 times more powerful than like regular sugar. Like it's a very, very, it's a very, very like sickly sweetness. It's almost like um, the same, similar sugar to like what you would make candy floss in, I would say. It's also very bad for your insides, actually. Yeah. Right, so I've got the ingredients for a UK Coca Cola, just in case Marcus is interested. Um, I pulled them up from uh, Sainsbury's, which is a UK um, uh, food shop, like a chain. Carbonated water, sugar, colouring, caramel E150D, um, um, phosphoric acid, natural flavourings, including caffeine. There you go, that's it. That's all that's in uh, UK Coca-Cola. But yeah, um, we do use cane sugar, not high fructose corn syrup. No, it didn't. It didn't say cane sugar. It just said sugar. So it'd probably be a mixture of oh, yeah. cane sugar and sugar beets, which is still sugar, well, but it's just made differently. We're not allowed to use high fructose corn syrup over here in the UK, are we? Because it's bad. Because you know, we basically stood by the it's, argument it, that it's bad it's, for your it's health. Class the it's classed as too toxic. Yeah. Human consumption. Yeah. And yet America has it in all of its sodas, which is kind of terrifying. Mate, there's, there's, there's a lot of stuff America has that's considered toxic to humans, and they still have it. In food. In actual yeah. edible food. And, you know, purple food colourings. There's a reason. It's, it's, it's because they, it's, the, it's the way they approach farming. They're, the way that they approach farming is very much like, how much can you get out of this, like, you know, per hectare? What's the most you can get out of it? When we try to get like more, we try to go more sustainable. Well, I'd say it's sustainable in brackets, you know. I mean, there's a reason that um, I um, put on like two stone once when I was stateside. Geez, how long are you there for? Not long. That's the terrible thing. <laughs> all of a, all of a week and a half. You put in two stone in a week and a half. Jesus. <laughs> oh, no. oh, dude, dude. I mean, did you did you did you have room to did you did you find time to sleep? Or is it just nom 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 nom? A lot of eating happened. <clears throat> Yeah, I was um, I was there with family. No, actually, no, 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 no. The time, at the time when I was there with family, when I piled on all the weight. Yeah, it was it was two weeks, dude. Not a week and a half. It's two weeks, I mean, but still, still it, it's not. It's that's a stone a week. Leo Mon says, "Sorry, I've been so quiet. The little memes have been attacking the carpets, and I need to be extra vigilant." Sorry, don't apologize. We've no, just... mind are the same. My man, my man's been trying to get into his uh, food supply all day, and now I've got blowing uh, that that syrup stuff all over me other cat foods. Because one of them wanted more food than their eye allowed. That's the boy, right? Yeah, he's the big eater. Uh, part of jar. No, they both, they both like the food, but she's more dainty about it. 
So she's like, mm, nom, 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 mm, yes, very nice. Mm, mm. And he's like, mm, 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 mm. give me more, give me more. Yeah. But give yeah, she's more. the one who's overweight. And she, metabolism's an interesting thing. Yeah, because I took her to the vet and it's like, well, she's slightly overweight. And I was like, well, this is how much to eat. I uh, probably just reduce that and flick a bit. But yeah, uh, Leon, no need to apologise. If the cat's a bit attacking the carpets, then that's not into your control. I mean, what did the carpet do? The carpet might have had it coming. The carpet might have had it coming. Did the carpet do something to upset the small cats? Yeah. What else have we got left? We're on to like the tiniest bits left over now. I think it's just, uh, I've got this wall here. There's one here. Oh, the comment about Coca-Cola. Apparently we use Coca-Cola here to get blood out of clothing and the rust off your car bumper. Who are we to judge? <laughs> I mean... To be fair, I can't say a great deal because whenever I drink Coca-Cola, it's always full fat. I, I the, don't... The, hmm? I mean, yeah, I mean, the thing is, it's, that is very true. But the thing is, how often do you leave Coke in your mouth and just, like, leave it, like, sitting in your mouth for hours hours and on end? I wouldn't, because it'd just rot your teeth to death. Uh, exactly. So it is very, very, like, carcinogenic, but you don't, oh, yeah. you don't oh, leave yeah. it. No. You just, you just... Open a glass with you. You pour a glass with some ice. Put some ice cubes in it, and then you're like, "Oh yes, the sweet, sweet sugary crack." Let's do this, because that's basically a that's basically what full fat coke is anyway. It's like um, it's it's basically like it's basically like crack to a soft drink person, essentially. Leomon says, The Simpsons did a treehouse of horror bit about that exact thing. Lisa ended up being a tiny god to tiny people who grew on her last two. I remember that episode now that you brought it up, actually. I mean, to be fair... I think that was years ago, right, Leomon? Jonathan, you see, this is the point where we've got... There's almost no dirt left discernible to the naked eye. Uh, like... The, why don't they just let you say, okay, it's a... Like, give you a margin of error where it's like you can complete the thing at 99% and just leave it almost entirely done. Because there's almost no dirt left. Well, you see, this is when you um, use the minimap and start, like... You say minimap, dude. No minimap. Uh, if you press the start button, you can actually highlight items, and they will flash. And the uh, they will flash. <clears throat> Alright, so that's done. Uh, what is left? A tiny bit on these chains. There we go. Hanging plant is done. Shed's done. I would ask you, I would ask you, Leo, Mom, but I'm legitimately struggling to stay awake. And now it gives you a little to-do list. Right, so... Birdhouse stand. Oh, this bit.
Oh, I'm doing that. I'm going to do French porch. Porch rings. What's the porch rings? Now you know how I felt when you and Mr. Jonathan spent 20 sodding minutes looking for that 1% of grass. Correction, Leo Mon, that 0.1% or 0.1.1% of grass. Now it's just the fence posts. But this is the I only fence. Do. No, there's two, there's two fences. That's apparently done. If you point directly at the fence, it will tell you. you point like... This one! There's something worse than this one. There we go. There we go. Job complete and a hundred and twelve dollars. Oh, the time lapse is satisfying. Yeah, that is fair. When you've got both feet in the grave, don't give the grave digger an excuse. But the grave digger's a giant worm, Leo Mom. All right, okay. Now then. Shall we, shall we examine the next job and like go for another like 10 minutes and then finish? Yeah, 10, 15 minutes. We'll go to about half um, past 10, is that okay? Yeah, before you go to the next job though, uh, see if cause you, can get the, yeah, you can get the cleaning supplies, I can't. Glass cleaner L, metal cleaner L. Right, so we've got two glass cleaners, two metal cleaners, two plastic cleaners, and two all-purpose cleaners. Actually, no, we'll make that three. And a wood stone cleaner. There we go. Equipment. The Prime Vista Turbo Nozzle. Yeah, so you, you watch, uh, a lot of people recommend you upgrading your actual guns first. Before. <clears throat> the Prime Vista 1500. <clears throat> We've already got that. We can't afford any of the... Um, the big, the big guns yet, as it were. Yeah, and I can't buy guns on my um, game. I'd have to leave, go to a job and come back. I'm with you. Um, so, um, in that case, we'll, um, we'll do another one. Um... You've got to clean the bungalow, clean the playground, clean the dirt bike. Shall we go? Do you want to go clean the playground or clean the bungalow? Uh, go for clean the dirt bike. That should be quick. It's a full. Yeah, go Might on. I even get it done. Yeah, yeah, fine. All right, we'll go until the end to clean the dirt bike then. Oh no, we might we might end up having to do another one after this because there's almost nothing to do here. 
No, it's easy money though, isn't it? Like, yeah, we're halfway already. Well, there's two of us. Clean your potty mouth. <laughs> Thank you, Marcus. Appreciate it. What did Leo Mon say? How about the carpet? Baby Poppy has this adorable and messy habit of attacking the carpet. If you think you're on the other side of the door, is it is it just cat logic? Human is nearby, I will attack carpet. Does she attack the carpet for attention or something, Leo Mon? Uh, mine do. If they can't get into a room that I'm in, they will attack the carpet because they know they know I don't like it. So wait, they kind of they do they attack the carpet as a way of acting out because you're not there with them and you're in a different room. Yes. Cat logic. My human is not here. This makes me grumpy. I will attack the carpet because I'm not happy. First thing in the morning, she's at my bedroom door, for I am she who fills the bowls. Because as I have learned in my uh, cat logic lessons from Suki, the second there is a gap in the food bowl for a cat, as I'm sure Jonathan will uh, cooperate here, it's like the world is ending. If there's a slightly empty spot in the bowl, they will meow like the world is ending. Am I correct in that assumption, Jonathan? Uh, the, yeah, they can be like that, but they will wait. I am in charge. Wow, your, yours have patience. No, Sit. no, they, 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 they just know not to mess with me. What are you, the big bad cat overlord or something? <laughs> no, I just like, you know, I just like my cat to be disciplined. Disciplined? No, not, not that I'm saying, like, hers on. I just, you know, just different ways of parenting. Neither is wrong. Yeah. yeah. Alright, it says Fender. So where's the Fender? What even is a Fender? American lingo there. Um, fender is at the front. Because they always say a Fender Bender, innit? It's a bumper. Oh, it's the fairings, dude. Not the Fender, the fairings. Leomon says, but when I fill the bowls, she and Teddy turn their noses up at it. I can't win. Again, cat logic. Right, there we go. Okay. It is done. There goes. There goes. There's something up with, with my dirt bike. You see... I'm one, I'm one of life winners. Every morning I put four slices of bread in the toaster, but only eat the slice that pops up. Only eat the slice that pops up first. Isn't that a waste but, of bread? When I have a coffee, I only drink the bit that wins the race to my mouth. But on this bike, I always finish dead last. I'm wondering if the mud st stuck in the Mayfair or whatever is slowing them down. I'm also surprised if so I haven't cleaned the thing in over 15 years, thanks. Good lord, 15 years. Damn. Spicy chili with beans and white rice in a bowl. That's my dinner tonight. Sounds good, dude. Sounds very good. Mm. I, uh, I like think I'm out of a pot noodle. Yeah. I had a... I had a... Chinese style um, uh, curry noodle bowl, which is actually on the channel as a food short, so check that out. It just went up tonight. And I also had a an improvised sandwich of um, of uh, crispy chicken bites in in a bread cake with that uh, mayonnaise. So improvised chicken sandwich. Shall we start one and go for ten minutes and then call it a night? Yeah. What's the options? Because I can't see. Playground your, or bungalow? Which one would you like? 
Uh, let's go for the playground. That that's gonna have lots of bitty, bitty things, and it will give us something to do next session. Yeah, is that is that your inner teacher coming out, dude? Also, I should say teaching assistant. Um, no, I just, I just can see there's lots of bits. You can you can, you can even look at it. You can see. Ah, fair enough. I'll do this bench here. I know for a fact that blowing cleaning uh, park equipment is very, very expensive. Yeah. Because of all the health and safety regulations you have oh, to do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, Essen I get that. Essentially, when they make a park, a park, like, thing, because most of them are custom designed, you essentially have to go around with a doll. And basically, just, it's like these people's jobs to basically try and force these dolls' heads, like, into anything. Because if it can fit, if a doll's head can fit, is it's the size of a child's head, an average child's head. Oh God! So. Yeah. Okay. That's. Um... So obviously, if the doll can, if the doll's head can get stuck, obviously a child's head can get stuck. Hey, look our van that we washed in. Yeah, our van's here. Yeah, that may that may have done so, Marcus. That may have done so. What was you said? What Marcus said? Lay the bits, and it came out wrong. We have the bin. Actually, I'll finish the bench first. What was the description about the park, by the way? I didn't read it, sorry. That's, that's on me. Part, that, that's the... Give me a sec. Um, I've got a frankly ridiculous situation on my hand. You see, some of the local children have been coming down with a curious and unsightly form of dermatitis, and a few f and a few fretful folk have been putting it down to the condition of the recreational facilities. It's all nonsense, of course, but if we could just humour them and give the whole thing a thorough hose down, I'd be most grateful. Uh, yeah, mate. The 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 definitely the, the kids are getting dermatitis from this park, mate. Like one hundred percent. Dermatitis is a skin condition, right? Yeah, contact dermatitis. It's a skin rash. And the, and the, and the parents are blaming it on a dirty park. Well, yeah, because it's a fungi. It's it's, a, it's skin irritation due to a fungal fungal infection. Wait, it's a fungi. Does that mean they're the life of the party and they're always good to be around? I'm afraid not. Yeah. No, like, I wish there was that type of fun guy. Oh, you know, fun. You should have humoured my terrible joke. Ha 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 ha! There we go. My ego, my ego is thoroughly satisfied. Yeah, sounds like so. We should. You, you need to add like a laugh track. So whenever you say, whenever you say one of your jokes, you can just use the laugh track. I'd be able to if we were streaming through PC, but we're on the PS5 tonight. Oh, do you not? Oh, yes, of course. Yep. I still need to get a cut. <sighs> Sorry. I still need to um, get the the settings for um, Discord sorted out so I can uh, have people co-hosting when I PC stream. Oh god, having to hose down all this dirt has the um, the skit from Black Books, the um, the show about the uh, alcoholic book owner, bookstore owner. Sorry. Dirty. In my yeah, exactly. Dirty. Dirty. Yeah. Dirty. Dirty. Did I tell you Wait, that? It's the fact that it, it, that episode when he comes in, the actor is like, everything here is it's hot. Dirty. Dirty. Yeah. Dirty. Look, when I put this glove on my hand and wave it to the air, shh, dirty. This, this dust, yeah. Yeah, I, but I it's, like, it's really creepy about it, isn't it? Ever so slightly, yeah. I, um, I actually showed C 
Suzuki black books, and she really appreciated it. It's it's, it's funny. I mean, I, Bill Bailey is my favourite comedian. Oh, one of the favourite comedians. And I'm quite the my... fan of Dylan Moran. Is he the other guy? Yeah, the Irish bookstore guy, Bernard. Yeah. So my um, my actual favourite comedian is um, is is Victoria Wood. God rest her soul. Yeah, she passed away, didn't she? Only a few years ago now. Yeah, m m um, many years. She was only there. Yeah, she, uh, it was cancer, wasn't it? She was unwell. Yeah, she but she went she went down she went downhill quite quickly. Yeah. Um. Oh, but you got I got a lot of songs. I remember. Hmm? Sorry. No, I was just saying I remember Victoria Wood because um, my mother. Uh, when I was a little kid, I used to watch a few of Victoria Wood um, comedy programs. She liked Dinner Ladies. Oh, Dinner Ladies! Yeah, Dinner Ladies was Dinner Ladies was good. Yeah. The thing is about Victoria Wood, she was very good at writing um, jokes and not like giving it herself. Because like, there's a lot of comedians out there that like to like make themselves have the best jokes. But she was like, no, no, it wouldn't make sense for my character or my for me to have the joke, so I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it away. Yeah. And you know, you don't you don't tend to hear of that very much. No. And this is a very muddy dinosaur. It's called a stego slide. The funniest um, joke I always remember is she did. Um, this this thing about two sisters. It was essentially Dinner Ladies the movie. Right. Uh, but they weren't the same characters. They were different characters. So basically, there were there were Victoria Wood. She played the dinner the main dinner lady who worked. I don't. No, she wasn't a dinner lady. She worked in a chip factory, based at McCain's, making chips. And her sister, that she'd fallen out with many years ago, had become this like the big actress. But they haven't they hadn't spoken to each other for like twenty years, um, and it's basically this this company um, takes it upon themselves to basically reunite them, even okay. though even though none of them want to be reunited. I think she does, the um, Victoria Woods character, uh, but the other sister doesn't because she's very embarrassed by her, and it's all about basically where does that come from? You know, why is she embarrassed about her? Um, but it's got a really, really funny line because Victoria Wood dating this guy who everyone thinks is like, oh, he's a total write-off because, you know, he can't read and people think he's quite dumb, but he isn't. Like, you know, he can drive and he's good at his job and stuff like that. And he and he goes to his mum and says, mum, this is the woman, at the end of the film, he says, mum, this is the woman I love and I want to be with her for the rest of my life. And he gives her a big kiss. And he's like, oh, son, son, don't be kissing her before marriage. You can't be doing that. And he's like, mother, we've had sex <laughs> on your bed. And she's like, oh, not the eider down. <laughs> oh, God. She's like, not the eider down. She's more concerned about the blowing eider down than her son Jeez. at that stage. Uh, Leo Mon says, what? wait there, who the heck are we talking about? Uh, Victoria Wood. Look her up, Leo Mon. Look up a, a sitcom called Dinner Ladies. It's actually quite funny. And uh, Jacob she... says, sometimes I question what I choose to watch on this app. Are you not enjoying uh, the fine power wash simulator action? I mean, we'll be, we'll be back with more Digimon World on Monday. Yeah. Yeah, Victoria Wood was a, a British comedian who came up with many sorts of famous, like, British like tropes and British ideas and you know things for comedy and the fact that she was like a female comedian at a time when there just wasn't female comedians is also like you know she was a trendsetter she was she was very much like one of the first people to do like musical songs that were funny so one of the most famous songs is called it's called let's do it and it's about the husband, a husband and wife called uh, Frida and Barry. And Frida, oh, she's in the mood. She's ready for it. Like, she really <laughs> wants to, like... Fr Frida's ready for it. She's in the yeah, mood. Yeah, she really wants to have, like, 
you know, marital relations with her husband. Uh, so she's singing about, you know, all the ways they can do it. And he goes, no, I can't. And he, he keeps coming up with excuses. So, like, one of the verses is like, let's do it, let's do it, do it to our hearts go boom. Guess native, creative, living in the living room. I'm on fire, with desire, can handle half the tenors in a male voice choir. Let's oh, do it. God. Let's do it tonight. And he's like, I can't do it. I can't do it. My heavy, my heavy breathing days are gone. My passion for, no, my passion for fashion. And I've got other things going on. And he's like coming up with all these excuses. And it just goes on and on and on and on. The full song's about five minutes. But my goodness, it's hilarious. I mean, Leo, Mop, you knew if you got me and Mr. Jonathan, you'd have the finest caliber of banter. Only the finest caliber of banter. I mean, would you rather have me and Jonathan talking about random, unrelated, and very quirky stuff, or the uh, the Riolu brand of um, power wash commentary? Where he just gives a running commentary on every inch of the of the building that he has squirted with um, the power wash gun, almost like a commentary of I've done the side, I've done the back, now the roof, and I'm just like, that's not banter. That's a running commentary of your cleaning status. I I'd hate to hear your worst. Don't challenge me, dear Leo, Mon. I am. Um... Well, that's the verse. <laughs> I found it. But he said, I can't do it. I can't do it. My heavy, day, my heavy breathing days are gone. I'm older. Feel colder. It's other things that turn me on. I'm imploring. I'm boring. Let me read this catalogue on vinyl flooring. I can't do it. I can't do it tonight. And it just goes on and on and on and on, all these excuses. And oh, honestly, it's hilarious. But yeah, could you imagine a running commentary? Yeah. yeah. So now, as you can see, I'm currently washing the underside of the swing, square ball B, getting all the muck out of all oh, that deep grouting with this powerful hose getting in all the cracks and getting the filth out of those deep cavities. I mean, you've, no. ba you've basically you've basically done a slightly more dressed up version of Riolu's commentary when he plays Power Wash Simulator. I'd argue that your commentary is more amusing, actually. Uh, right. Riolo, if you're watching the VOD, I'm just teasing, dude, don't worry, pay no mind to me. Yeah. I'm just being a silver and teasing, pay no mind. Uh... Oh, that's um, another musical I really like, that, Vic that Victoria Wood did. So she um, did a musical called um, The Day We All Sang, and it's almost like it's two stories. Um, running in two different periods uh, so you've got the point of view of these people as kids and then as them as adults and it's actually got um, Michael Ball in it at once uh, in in the film he plays the male character uh, but it's really hard to recognize because he went through a stage where he actually got quite large he put on he put on a lot of weight for a few years and yeah it was quite fat uh, and he is in the film is in the film is quite large Oh, okay. uh, but but basically, all, what it is, the film starts with all these people talking about this experience they had during the end of the Second World War, where a bunch of these kids from working class families got to sing on an, on a recording, and it was the first time the clip had been found, so they were watch they got to watch it live, and you know they were interviewing them, um, and basically these two people met, um, and they basically fell in love with each other. Uh, but it was like them kind of remembering what it was like when they knew each other when they was kids and all that stuff. But it's got lovely numbers in it. <laughs> yeah, I've it's called you. The Day We All Sang. 
How do we equip the cleaning liquid? Uh, if you press the big button in the middle, it comes up with options, I think. Or if you press the spin wheel. Um... I mean, oh, that's it, it. No, if you if you press if you press triangle, circle, press circle. Yeah. There you go. It should come up with should come up with the liquids. But then it says no liquid equipped. Have you bought liquids? Yeah, a few. I wouldn't know then. Can we just do a Google search on that? Jatani says, "Hey, Silver, am I too late to reserve a power wash at my summer cottage for today? Would you like a summer cottage cleaning provided by um, Silver uh, Silver Gaming Network with um, with our co with our co-host and um, assistant washer, Mr. Jonathan?" Yeah, we need to come up with a name for this company. We can just call ourselves the Washers. The Silver Service. First rate at, at second prices, maybe? Yeah. Uh, First rate service at second rate prices. Yeah. That's it. The Johnny and, Sil the Johnny and Silver Cleaning Co. We'll, we'll, we'll air out all of your filth. I don't know. I'm half asleep. Oh, maybe, maybe call it uh, Brenda's Delights. Oh, Brenda's Delights. Get you all nice and clean. Get you. Yeah. You you sound like. You sound like the voice. You sound like a disembodied voice inside of a drunk's head, in um, in Disco Elysium. That sounds very specific. I the, don't know why. The inland brain. Like, you literally sound like that. Like, the voice inside the uh, the alcoholic protagonist's, um, like, head. Like, his internal monologue. Like, it says two litres. But then it specifically says, like, nothing equipped. Give me a sec, I'm going to Google search it while you carry on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hello. Here we go, there's an actual guy. Here we go. These can be found in the Equipment tab and the Cleaning Liquids tab, respectively, of the shop. After you've bought the nozzle and your cleaning liquids of choice, press E and select the soap nozzle and the desired cleaning liquid. Dude, do we, uh, need, a, need, do we need a specific need a, nozzle? Yeah, you need a, 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 a soap nozzle, yeah. So that's know, why you can't equip it. Do you know what we'll do? Right, we'll jump out. Because we've already made like 8% progress. So we're going to jump out. Quickly. And drop a save. How do we how do we leave? Um you can just click leave job and you should just leave your job. Um Where is the soap nozzle? Uh, I think it's probably in modifications. If you go, if you scroll down, modifications. Um. <clears throat> no, actually. Well, this is silly.
Um, I have no idea. I actually have no idea. Well, this is kind of uh, embarrassing. It's not embarrassing, mate. It's a new game. Right. Power washers. <clears throat> Custom gloves. Oh, Zoe, have you found um, the soap nozzle yet? So well, are you there? Oh, sorry, I was muted. Oh. Um, I can't find it. Uh, let me have a look. Um, yeah, have a quick uh, see if you can have a quick search and let me know what you find. Right, um, shop, modifications. I can only do cosmetic modifications in this, in this, in this mode. Right. I mean, can you still, can you buy soaps in this mode? I've bought soaps, yeah. No, but I mean, can you, can you still, can you, when, while you're here, can you still buy soap? You mean like from the shop tab right now? Yes, because you know yeah. some of the shots. Yeah, yeah. Okay, then um, there should be an upgrade tab then. Really? I've got power washers, equipment, cleaning liquids, clothing, and modifications. Uh, should we a modification then? Surely. I scroll through all the modifications. It's got to be in one of them, surely. Uh, no, they're just different colored, like, soap guns. Uh, maybe, is it, is it one of the other, um, like, look at the other guns, because there's different size guns, one of them might actually have the source attachment, like, built into it. Okay. Ah, right. Okay, so we go info. We have to buy the soap nozzle. Yeah, we buy the soap nozzle. Ah, so it's in extensions. Ah, there you go then. There you go. But it, it's weird. It seems to have its own separate bar. Oh no, wait, it's here. I just didn't yeah, see we, it. Yeah, we it will because it's um, obviously limited, isn't it? You buy the soap and then obviously as you use it. Okay, we are learning. So, I mean, there's nozzle. people who play. There we there's go. People who play, there's people who played this full game and I swear, like, they said, don't even bother. Right. 
Hey, Leo, Mom. Now then, that's done. There's a bin there. To be fair, the soaps are fine. They work all right. You don't even use them, how do you know? I've got them equipped now. They've got a wider spread on them. Oh. They clean oh. quite a bit oh, quicker, tell us, actually. Tell us, about, tell us about that spread. It's a wide spread, Jonathan. Oh, it's a wide spread, is it? Mm, hey, spread uh, dude, dude, it really is. I'm looking at it now. Like, the progress on the bin is real. Yeah, but you got to remember, you, you got to always get the right material for the right thing. If you look at it, whenever you aim at an object, if you look at the top right-hand corner, it tells you what object you are cleaning. And it tells you what it's made of. Because obviously, any if you use the wrong cleaning solution, it's a waste. Like 100% waste. Okay. Got ya. Right. Now then. Oh, oh, oh. The good lady's arrived. Hello, good lady. It's good to, it's good, it's good to see you in chat. Hello, Suki. Suki oh, be lurking. She's, she's, she's seeing, she, you know, she's seeing, if, you know, are you washing the dishes properly? <laughs> Okay, multi-purpose cleaner. I mean, dude, come over here for a sec. It's okay, hon, don't worry, I'm, I'm like super tired myself, right? Check this out, I've got the multi-purpose cleaner on, with the, um, the nozzle yeah. gun, right? This is multi-purpose, look at how quickly this cleans. Yeah, yeah, I can see the the widespread like it's doing its job. Yeah. Hey, don't get me wrong, it burns through it burns through it fast, but it certainly um works. Well, that's the thing. Like, it's really good for like cleaning like big swaths of area in one go. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Like, like, play, like, it's like the thing you're using it for is is what it's like designed for. Are we getting there? Are we cutting through the grime? Oh, definitely, like... Like, as soon as you, like, figure out the progress bar thing, like, you can just work on, like, one section at a time and it makes it very... Like, it gives you the little hits. Like, oh, yes, I've got this panel clean, like, I've got, you know. Yeah, yeah. Systematically work through it.
Okay. Ah, so you have to reload it. Got ya. I mean, damn, that works. Whereas regular water barely cuts through this stuff, dude, right? right yeah, that's the th Well, yeah. I mean, the diff so there are different levels of grime in this. There's, like, grime that just literally rinses off really quickly. And then there's really, like, thick ground that's like, oh my goodness, this is going to take, like, forever. Like, dude, so... Check this out, right? Come on over. I've got the best um, example of it here. Yeah, I saw you hop there. Regular water. Is like that. I mean, you are using the narrowest nozzle. I know, but I'm also using the, um... <clears throat> like, the thing. <clears throat> That's regular water. Whereas this is the actual multi-purpose cleaner. And it just, it just cuts through it so easily. Yeah. I can definitely see its advantages. Like, it's, it's definitely good. Jacob's like, draw a pee. Is there a dark enough patch in it left to do some drawing? I don't think there is. But we might on um, the next bit. Anyway, Jacob, how you doing, my dude? You alright? Right, okay. So we're getting there in terms of this multi purpose floor. Locked and loaded. Silver. Yep. Silver, come here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, come here, come on. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on. Hello? Hello? May I present to you the peen? Hey, Jacob, he did hey. it for you. Hey. Jacob, he did it. It's funny it's because it's funny because penis. Penis. exactly genitalia. There you go, there you go Jacob. Enjoy. Are you happy? We hope you are happy. The ladder proves. I think I'm gonna have to buy some more multi purpose cleaner, dude. Yeah, jump on like, it's cutting through, but good god, you need a lot of it. Okay, we're out of cleaning fluid. Right. right, now then. Multi-purpose. Cool. <clears throat> 
short bursts seem to be more effective. Like, significantly more effective. Yeah, I agree. That's, that, 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 there's, there's technique to this game. Absolutely. Like, if, like people definitely did the research when they made it. Like, dude, just spraying this in, like, monstrous bursts doesn't work as well. But, like, literally, like, giving, like, short little squirt, squirt, squirt bursts, almost like a squirt gun, actually works with the cleaning the dirt off the surfaces better, at least over here. Yeah, that's way more effective. Then we just get the leftover bits that we miss with the regular power gun. So we give it just a cut through. We give it the silly bang treatment. Like Barry silly Scott. Bang. bang! And the dirt is gone. Thank you, Jonathan, yes. So we give it like a wide spray with the solution and then we um, finish the little leftover bits that don't cut through with the um, the cleaning solution using the uh, the regular power gun right we're out No problem, I'm on it, it's all good. Are you off? Get oh, no. soon. She's just updating her app. Oh, YouTube. yeah, yeah, that's fine. YouTube always likes to update at the most inappropriate times. It always does, you're right, dude. Although, I, although it's quite fun because... Um, when I finish with my console, I actually switch it off completely. I don't leave it on standby mode. Uh, so if sometimes when I've been, at, when I've had like a busy few weeks and I've not been on my console for like three weeks, and I switch it on, it's like, oh my god, so much needs updated. Please, just give me some time. It's like everything needs updating simultaneously. Yeah, and then it's like, I can't do any of these updates. Why? Because the system needs updating. Oh, yeah, okay. The system needs updating. And obviously that goes first, and then... Alrighty. Cool. I just think how much water these things are using. Probably enough to supply a small community in a third world country. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. It's definitely the quite the ecological though, footprint. Yeah. The thing is though, when you actually watch power wash videos, they use a variety. So for instance, for your, for your, like, area, they wouldn't use just a power wash like what you're using. They might do for, like, small paths, but normally they would, they would use, like, a power wash, like, hoover. Yeah. Which is, like, it's, um, basically, it's got two nozzles on the inside, and it sprays, like, almost like a lawnmower. That's essentially what it is, it's a lawnmower, but with jet water. Okay. Right, Leo Mon says, remember you mentioned Haunting Ground earlier? I found my original PAL receipt for it in 2006. Can you guess how much I spent? I actually am very curious. 
2006 for a, like a brand new game. PS2 game. Uh, I'm very curious. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be like maybe like if it if it was a triple A game. Forty. Forty. Forty quid. Yeah. Forty. Thirty. Thirty six. Oh no, it's in dollars, isn't it? Would it be in dollars? No, no, no. Leo Mons UK. Yeah. So yeah. About 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 thirty seven quid, I would say. Well, I was just going to give us that. Have you heard about the backlash about uh, the new Star Wars game that's come out? People basically complaining about it. It, it has, it has crossed my radar. Yeah. Um, well, the main complaint I view of people complaining about is the fact that they are charging a hundred and thirty pounds for the deluxe edition. That is ridiculous. I mean, they're charging seventy pounds for the base game. The thing is, Baldur's Gate three proved. That a game. The reason why that got the game of the year is because people are like, yeah, when you buy the game, you get everything. You know, yeah. you don't have to buy the game, but yeah. have to buy all the all the you know. But wait, there's more. Buy it in chunks and be nickel and dimed for it. Yeah. Yeah, like DLC, different thing. Yeah. yeah. DLC is a different thing entirely. But like when you uh, sell a game, it's like, oh, but there's there's content that we can release with the base game, uh, but we're not going to. You know. Yeah, we choose not to. It's the Tekken yeah. argument. It sadly is the Tekken argument. Oh, when you've got characters. Like, if there's bonus characters that you want to add later, then yeah, but don't take, like, the main roster away. Oh, yeah. Like, I'd, I don't even play Tekken. I'm like, I couldn't stand that pain. It, it gets frustrating. It's a very clean segment over here that you've got. There's some mad washing happening. Have you tried equipping some of the soaps? I can't. You can't. I can't. I, I can't. I can't buy upgrade some equipment. No, but have you tried I, it? Have I, you I, tried I, think, it? I, I think I'd have to leave your session, then buy the upgrades press, in the end. Press triangle and see. Since I bought the soap nozzle, if you can do so as well. And like equip it. Press triangle and see if it's unlocked. No, and, it, and it's circle. Oh no, for me it says circle for soaps and triangle for nozzles. Oh yeah, tri I got triangle for nozzles, but I can't equip a soap. No, no, no. It's like is, uh, the, is the soap nozzle there? No, I've, I've got nozzles zero degrees, fifteen degrees, twenty-five, forty degrees. I haven't, I haven't got any other nozzles. You're gonna have to unlock it in your own, aren't you? Like you said. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm making my own separate money pool doing this contract with you. So. Ah, so you can buy it. So basically, we've got a. You're my assistant, but I'm, I'm the, mo I'm the most crap boss, and I'm making you fund your own equipment out your own wages. I mean. Oh God. I, I know, I, I know, I, I know companies that do that, so you know. It's called fast food. Um, no, uh, my uncle was my uncle was a builder. Yeah. My uncle was a builder, and he was uh, he had to supply all his own equipment. And um, when he had his accident, when he was run over, uh, my dad run literally over. went through. The, yeah, basically, um, it was this was years ago. You're talking about ten years ago now. It was at work. Oh, it was. It was was he at work? No, no, it was his day off. Uh, it was out and about in town, and he was crossing a zebra crossing. And before he knew it, um, a driver, like, ran through him. Didn't run him over, ran through him. Like, it shattered his leg, I think, in 15 places. Good God. Uh, and we, 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 we suspect that it, it was a young driver, which is not an issue. Uh, but we suspect he was checking out the girls that were at the pub across the road. Because he clearly wasn't paying attention. <clears throat> clearly not. Is your uncle uh, but yeah, okay? While it, while, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's, I mean he's, he's, he's got health conditions because of it. But well, understandable. It's just one of those things, isn't it? You, you know... Like, he got compensation from it and all that stuff, but you know. Yeah, I think he would rather have a functional leg. Yeah, I, I feel that. I relate to that. 
Uh, but no, basically, my dad went like, while he was still in the hospital, he went literally the day after, like, maybe the day after, might have been a few days after, but, but he was like, oh, I'm here to um, pick up, um, he went in, and this boss was apparently was very, very rude, but he was like, uh, I'm Kevin Broadhead, I've, I've, you know, I've come to pick up my, uh, obviously, obviously fake name. Yeah. Um, but no, I've come to pick up uh, my brother's my brother's stuff. Uh, and he's like, "Where is it?" And he's like, "Oh, it's in, you know, it's in this lockbox." Goes to the lockbox. The lock's broken off. The lock's broken off. Yeah, like it's been cut off by something, and all the equipment is missing. Theft. Yeah, but but that basically went. Um, it's all missing. Where is it? Ah, uh, happens. It happens. It's like no. Happens it happen my yet. ass. It's like it doesn't happen. Like you need to, you know, investigate. And it's like I don't have to do everything, anything. Anyway, he starts threatening my dad, so my dad just calls the police. The police comes and they all basically pull rank. And just you know, the equipment's the equipment's lost. Right. But then the cop is like, actually, when was the last time you had a health and safety inspection? <laughs> and then it, and so they still got them. Well, the, the, the site was shut down. Yeah. Quite surprising when you were, uh, when you know, being able to look and realise there was no health and safety being done. Sounds like modern Help. Britain. If somebody can get away with cutting corners on something, they will. Oh, yeah. Oh, we've got a... Silver, uh, remember you mentioned hunting games earlier. Uh, for... Oh, she said. Yeah, Leo, Mom, what was your uh, final receipt for that? Okay. Oh no, she used the phrase bank breaking. 11 oh. for... Oh God, that's dirt cheap. Is that new? Last one, um, me and Ace were going past the CEX today. It was £95 in the shop window. Was it original? Like in its original packaging? Yeah. Boxed, I mean, original, manual, 95 I mean, you quid. Can, you can understand in that condition. Like, you know, like... In the, given, given that circumstances, yes, I can understand it being worth that much. Like, you know, it's never, it's never been touched by human hands. Human you know, hands. It will have the original manual in it, it won't have any stuff on it, like it will, you know... Like, could you imagine finding an original copy of Resident Evil in the case? How much that would be worth? Uh, I can give you an answer for that. Depending on the collector's market, you may, you're looking anywhere from about for Resident Evil 2, anywhere between 30 to kind of 70. Exactly. There you go then. I mean, you that... wonder why people you wonder why people buy things and then never open them. Yeah, I mean, I have a mint. That does not. I have a, sorry. And that doesn't mean I can. That doesn't mean I can donate. Yeah. Well, you have a mint condition. What? Sorry. I have a. All I was saying is I have a mint condition. Um, freaking PS2, like an actual mint condition, slimline PS2, never opened, never played, still in its box, sealed with the stickers and everything. There will come wow. a day where I stick that on the eBay store for like a grand and see if somebody buys it eventually. Otherwise, I'll keep it for myself and play it when I'm old in like another 20 years. Oh yeah, so old. Yeah. yeah. Well, relatively old. Mature, Silver. Mature. That's how we describe things these days. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. I apologize, sir. Damn straight. Oh, dear.
Thank you, Leomon. I'll check that out. Um, right. How dirty is this park? No, it's clearly never been washed. Ever. Ever. Yeah. Hey, this corner of yours is just sparkling. I got well, I'm I'm doing it like section by section. Like I'm like, I'm looking at the wall and I'm like trying to like, you know. How much money have you got in the bank at the moment? 530. 530? Yeah. Wow. How much have you got? Like 145. Oh, wow. It must be, I must be only getting the bonuses for cleaning and not the bonuses for a full contract. Oh, that's a bit crappy. Like it. Well, it encourages me to play the game myself. And plus, it's like, I'd say it's far more enjoyable with two people than it is with one. Sylvie is just is basically walking around doing nothing, just like IRL when you ask him to clean. Boo! Girl's getting sassy. Are you insinuating that I don't tidy up? She's one hundred percent stating that fact. I mean, I mean, yeah, no, no, sir, so, no, sir, no, sir. I have no idea what you're talking about. You are, you are uh, a benevolent overlord. A benevolent server lord. Are you uh, destroying my penis? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the way he said it. It's the delivery. It's the delivery. I apologize, for I am destroyer of Venus. Um, fear, for there is the, no peni that I will not destroy. They shall all fear me. <laughs> peni, singular. Peni, yeah, you should only have one silver. Oh, yeah, that, that is true. I'd love to. I'd love to have two, like a hydra. Like a hydra. Like a hydra. I suppose that'd be three. I mean, do you think a Hydra is one of them? If you if you cut off one, you get you get you go two more back. Can you imagine if it grew back? Wow. Here you go, Suki. I'm spraying stuff clean. Pick a spot and clean it. Yeah, I'm, she has a point. I've just been kind of walking around scattershot, spraying a little bit here and spraying a little yeah, bit you, there. Yeah, you've been you doing like spraying and praying. But not, whereas you've been staying in one area and diligently cleaning it, I've just been giving a wide spray of an area, cleaning it the tiniest bit, strafing around to the next, clean, strafing around and cleaning the next bit.
I like gone through all the multi-purpose floor cleaner. We're almost out. You know, fine. I'll finish the slide. I'll focus on the slide. Okay. I'm not muted, I'm just very quiet. We're gonna get this dinosaur clean, and then I think we'll call it a night, because we've been going for like a good long amount of time. And finish this off maybe next week if you're free. Yeah, yeah, that'd be fast. I'm just trying to get the roof, I'm just trying to get the roof done. Understandable. Well, that's, that's good. It won't let you fall off the roof unless you jump. We're getting now. Yeah, it's quite. We're getting now. I, I do want to say it's really relaxing. It I is. I can see why people play it. It is, I'll give it that. And the career mode has um, two player, but then you've also got options later in some other missions to do like lots of like playing. Is this like, no, is this a bit like Lawnmower where um, you get to later things and we're cleaning one place for like an hour? Mate, some of the contracts take, take hours. Like, I, I, I watch streams where the streams have been like three hours and it's just been like cleaning one, one object. Yeah. Apparently the hardest, the hardest job um, is the... In SpongeBob, there's a SpongeBob DLC where you clean a bunch of things in Bikini Bottom, okay. and one of them is the and one of them is the invisible car. The invisible so car. So obviously, you can, yeah, the invisible car that made my Barnacle Boy drive. Oh yeah. Um, but the issue is with that is you can see all the dirt, but if a piece of the invisible car is covering it, then you can't see it. So you have to like keep searching and searching and searching and searching. I'm with you. We're going to have a clean dinosaur soon.
He will soon be a clean dino. And yeah, Leomon, I'll give you that. It is, it is relaxing. Hence why we've been so quiet. We're just quietly concentrating while we clean. Contemplating the mysteries of the universe, Silver. That's what it is. Yeah, true contemplation. What the man said. It's just like little things as well, like, for instance, you've even got to, like, calculate your hitbox when you're up a ladder. So I'm up a ladder currently cleaning something, but the ladder's also in, like, the way of sections. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I'm so excited. Like, I'm so close to getting this, like, this roof clean. See, the dinosaur's looking a bit better now. I'll get the dinosaur slide cleaned and then we'll carry on next week. Oh, yeah, okay. Cause, uh, I'm, still aiming to, I'm still aiming to get the roof finished. The good thing is, is where you can go between job to job and just uh, do so much. Yeah, so like if a job's like doing you nothing, you're like, do you know what? I'm going to come back to this almost like real life you can be like a contractor and go I'm gonna set three days on contract to do this and move between other jobs while you do it or be like oh, the, I, never, I, I never turn up I never come back yeah just like the British road, road network yeah we're gonna schedule these roads for repairs we're gonna put all our equipment down dig up half the road stick a load of freaking diggers there sit there with like a load of gear in the middle of the road after blocking half the road system off and then basically say project will be finished in 2028 when it's 2023 and then just come back like four times over the like maybe four to eight times over the course of one year until it's gradually done by about 2032 seven years behind schedule that's basically yeah. the british road system and then you occasionally have oh this is this is the private area done the next day yeah yeah Oh, someone important is going to see this. Done yesterday. Done yesterday, correct. That's basically what happens. We're not bitter. Not bitter at all, no. Okay, the slide is looking nice. There we go. Silence. The silence of contemplation, Leo, Mom. Yes. Hello, silence, my old friend. Yes. Looks like we're here to meet again. It's the sound of silence. How much is a brand new factory sealed Resident Evil 3 Nemesis? You probably, I'm probably guessing around like 70, 80 pounds, Leo Mon. Possibly more. Because I, um, 
I saw a copy of Dino Crisis in the CEX window, Leomon, while me and Ace were walking past earlier today. Twenty-eight pounds. A thousand pounds. There's no way somebody's going to buy that. People are just taking the mick. It's basically like, so I have my mint condition retro collection. I'm going to sell it all, but I want enough to get the deposit for a mortgage. Like, if I'm going to sell my precious retro collection, I want enough to literally mortgage my house. Please send me a link so I may grimace. It's professionally graded. Oh, God. That's because it's had professional grading. Yeah, because, you know, when an expert said it's worth something, it's worth something. Yeah, it makes sense. The stego side is getting there. Stego side, stego slide. I am a stegosaurus. That was Astiff movie, wasn't it? I am uh, a stegosaurus. It was, yes, it was one of them. God, I miss I miss Edward. I miss Edward. That was funny. I uh, know. You remember yeah, Edward? Of course I do, dude. I grew up watching it when I was freaking in my teens. Oh no, like a kid it was that it was like that long ago when he was doing Ed's World. Of course I remember it. Yeah, you can't you can't uh make, you can't you can't you don't console that that very very much anymore. No, it's the the, the humour. Oh god I'm wanna... it, 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 I... It's the fact that, like, he would do videos, like, where he's like, Oh, I'm sorry I've not uploaded a video in a while. I'm too busy dying of cancer. Oh, God, that was a grim reality. Yeah, well, he, he had it, didn't he? He, had, he, he, he was he had, hoping to get better. He had cancer, and then he died of a common cold because the cancer treatment took out his immune system. Yeah. Is that what killed him in the end? Yep, he um, basically... I thought, I thought... he was. He was in hospital for cancer treatment, dude, because he, uh, I believe he had a form of leukemia. Obviously, yeah. he had the kind of chemotherapy, because it was a very severe and aggressive cancer, so he had the form of chemotherapy that basically neutralizes your whole immune system, and then he contracted and died of the common cold because he had no immune system to fight it, which is tragic. Oh, jeez. Bloody tragic, man. I believe yeah. as well, the, is the guy who did the ASDF movies... He's like one of the first guys to ever open up about his mental health. Yeah, that's Tomska. Tomska, who did the Astaf movies, yeah, I know about him. Yeah. My favourite sketch he does is um, where is is the hole? Oh, the hole. The hole. I like the salon like, shootout huh? with the space aliens. I was the other one. But it's just like, oh, hello, oh, Jesus, what's that? It's like, it's, it's the hole. Yes, right. I know, but where did it come from? It's, it's, it's just there. It's, it's just a hole. I'm going to pause cleaning the stego slide for a second to send Leo on a couple of links before we finish. Four point two one million subscribers. Well, people are still finding his content. That, it, it, like the the videos, far outlive the man. Yeah. Yeah, and I find it amazing how so many years on, Tom is like a tribute to Ed, because obviously Ed was his best friend, and they were basically going to move in together before he. Uh, he is basically his cancer came back, weren't they? They were going to move in together and um, make Edward yes. a massive thing. 
And then obviously he ended up, his cancer ended up coming back. He was admitted to hospital and he never came out. And then we know that very, that very much was very damaging for Tomska's mental health, wasn't it? Because that was his best oh, friend. Oh, most he lost. certainly. Yeah. I know Marky Player was going to shut at one stage. He was going to shut down his channel, and he was going to move in with these three other con content creators, and they were going to like dedicate a channel together. Yeah. And they were going to create his channel, uh, but then I, th I think he committed suicide, but I'm not 100% sure. But I know one of them died very suddenly and very unexpectedly. Yeah, yeah. So, Leo, Mon, the first one that I sent you was, or is Ed's World. It's still going now. Tomska's still doing videos for Ed's World. Oh, does he? Yes, I've, oh, I've just seen I didn't it. Realize, I, I didn't realise it continued. And the second one I've just sent you, Leo, Mon, is Tomska. He is, um, or he was Ed Gold, the, uh, the creator of Ed's World, the creator of Ed's World's best friend, the one I was telling you about. Both are very good and you should check them out and they are old school YouTube going as far back as when we were all kids and like we're talking like 2006 YouTube, I was a kid. And yeah, I think you will genuinely enjoy it and uh, like it, so please check it out. I think it does. Do you remember that? Do you remember like um, oh, what was his name? The guy who used to wear the purple morph suit. I actually don't. And he was like, oh, I can't remember. But he was, he was like, me, 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 me. he used to run around like run around in like a purple morph suit and just be like bonkers. I don't think I know who you mean. Sadly, it it was ah. Oh. You'd have seen it. You'd have seen his sketches, or oh, like his memes at least. Probably. But yeah, I know. I know. He, um, Mark Plow did that. Did you ever watch uh, Unus Arnus? When uh, it was a thing? My sister was very big on it when they were doing that for a year, as was uh, me and Suki took an interest in it. Oh, I, I, I heard about it through Suki and my sister, and I tuned in for the last night of it when it was, you know, it taken over the whole internet because it was such a big oh, thing. Oh, yeah. Like, I tried to watch every video, and I would, like, uh, I, I would uh, go through, like, at one stage, I think my personal favourite is I went through like 20 odd videos in a day because I was that desperate to like get all the videos in. And in the end, there was still like three months of content left. Yeah. You know, over 90 videos I, I never saw and never will see. Because they've all gone. Yeah. I, I, there's people out there that have like, that downloaded their, their entire content to a hard drive. And yeah. they're just, just keeping it just for the sake of keeping it. Even though Mark said, please don't do that, that's not the point. But you know. Well, yeah. He said the point of, he said, he said you can't really appreciate something and fully examine what it was and did until it's gone. I can see that perspective. I mean, he even said, he said, he said the amount of money we've been offered to just to, to to just for people to give us the content, like not even like continue making content, just, just to give, just take give us it and make it permanent. Yeah, but they said no. That's not the point. Of, it was never the point of the Unisana's project, was it? No, one one well, one year. And that's it. I mean, even their. Um, like a million subscriber button went to a they they give it away like everything from that project they give away everything the suits are never beginning worn again the coffins like just everything yeah. like it is truly over and that was the whole point of it yeah I mean I suppose you could go in the YouTube rewind machine and get it that way but 
you know. Kind of defeats the object, doesn't it? Yeah. If, you know, you know, like, you would want to do that. Like, I, I don't know. If I could go back in time and have one more evening with my grandma, you know, you would. There but, are th- you know, I, you can't. Definitely. There's, there's things we'd all do, yeah. I'll tell you what I would have. I know it sounds weird, but I'd have my, uh, I'd have my auntie's lasagna again. Yeah. No one made lasagna like she did. Do you know something I'd do? And uh, this, what? this might be, this might be slightly personal for me to share. You but, don't, uh, you don't have to. I mean, uh, it's not like don't. too personal. I'd, um, I would have introduced Suki to my grandfather. Oh yeah, that, yeah. That is uh, if, it, one... if, it, if, it, if it was anything like you. That is one thing I would have done. I had the chance to do so, and I never did. And he died three months later. Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry about that. Just he was all, he was getting old, and he was he was getting really old and fragile. He was eighty, nearly eighty-three when he passed away, dude. So he had a full life. But that's just one of my sole regrets. I always... It was one of a few. I always wanted to, like, um... Introduce, um... My grandfather to Suki. Well, we won't be in there. I mean, when my, um... Grom- um when my grandma was old, she was, a uh, She went on holiday to Cleethorpes. Yeah, Because yeah. she adored Cleethorpes. Yeah. Uh, and basically, my dad went to go and see her. He went to go and pick her up. And it was like, oh, Jonathan, you know, do you, do you want to come? And I was like, no, no, Dad, I, I've, I've already agreed to uh, meet my cousin. I'm going to hang out with him for today. But I would love to come with you to pick her up. And I was like, yeah, of course you can. Uh, and he went to go and see her, and he, had, he, said, he said it was like a proper nice um, day with his mum. He took her to the beach, and they had a nice time. And, oh, you know, they did, they did things as like, um, you know... Mother and son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she, she, she passed away. Oh God! In the night, they even went. They even when my dad kind of knew that she wasn't feeling very well because when they got back to the home, she was like, "Oh, Kevin, uh, again, fake name. Oh, Kevin, um, I'm really tired. I'd like to go to bed." And he's like, "Are you sure, Mum?" I said, "Yeah, I'd like to go to bed. Okay, we'll get you to bed." So they got to bed, and then she obviously she died that night. It's one of those. It's one of those regrets where, like, I regret it and kind. I do and I don't, because it's like, I would have loved to share that experience with them. But then again, it was a very personal experience for my father and his mother to share. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, I, like I don't regret it in the sense that I, you know, it was their moment to share. Yeah. But I kind of regret it. Like I would, I would, I wanted to be part of that moment. Yeah. I mean, on top of that, I, I totally get your perspective because I would have loved to um, have spent a bit more time with my granddad in the last year of his life, but um, sadly the family situation, because, you know, just divorce did not make that freaking tangible or comfortable in any way or easy for anybody. So never had that opportunity. No. Never makes it easy. I mean, um, nah. I'll t- I tell you something, actually. Yesterday... I was at work, and I was I was looking. I was I was like, oh, you know, I was talking about like our home, and I said, oh, let's see if there's any um, YouTube channels that you know have any footage of my area, and I can show I can show my friends at work them. So I, I loaded up YouTube, typed in my area name. Lo and behold, there is a there is a channel that is dedicated to hikes and walks around my local area and it's been running for about two years you mean where, you live, really you where you live now or in sheffield back home back in sheffield back home okay like it's really good quality video and you know it the, i mean the content seems all right but there is a one slight issue go on it's it is run by my ex-brother-in-law oh that's awkward yeah and i'll tell you something i switched it on and I got really angry. Like I got really, really angry. I, I had to switch off the video really, really, um, really quickly. And I remember speaking to my work colleague, and I was like, "I don't like that." He's like, "What do you mean?" I said, "I don't like the fact that just seeing his face makes me want to punch his computer screen." I mean, I can understand that because uh, I imagine if I um, 
saw one of my exes in particular, in particular, it would just fill me with a, a very miserable and unhappy feeling. That one. Another one. Another I one. know the one. I mean, oh God, I make it sound like. But the thing is, there's a way to do divorce. There's a way to do divorce amicably, and then there's like the ways that these, the way that these effers did them. Yeah. You know. <clears throat> Like, if, if, if it was a multiple choice quiz, and it was an option between A, B, and C, they would write cheese and mark it. <laughs> I like that analogy. That's how, yeah, that's how wrong, like, they did it. It's just the fact that, it's just the fact that it's like, like, I know how much work goes into making a YouTube channel, and like, maintaining a YouTube channel. Oh, And God. I'm just like, mate... You've not got time to see your kids, but you've got time to go rambling with your mates and make a YouTube channel. Like... Yeah. No, come on. Come on. Fair enough. Yeah. Like, I mean, even if... Like, there's way, the way you could do it, you could even... You could even like, his kids are adults, so you could take his kids with him. Like, oh, I, 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 you know, I'll do this project that I really enjoy because I really want to share, like, the history of like our area with, with with people would you please come on these walks with me I, I, I know especially one of the one of one of my one of his kids would like to do that but no he's always working he's always working but he's never got any money for child support you know i'm not bitter silver i swear no oh, don't worry i'm not judging anyway is there any uh, interesting comments I think we're okay. Has it just ticked off the stego slide? Uh, if you go into the menu, you can get a synopsis and it should um, mention the stego slide. I mean, we're halfway through. We've not done bad. Bench bin. Um Can you see Stego slide anywhere? Let me get out. Well, ah, the Stego, office, sli Stego slide, slide clean, we've got it. There you go. It's clean. Oh yeah, nice and clean. Yeah. yeah. I mean, right. I've got the. I mean, we got a half, half of it's clean. This the ride. It might just slide. Boo. All righty. All right. Still. The, the 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 comment the 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 comment of the night for me was, "Are you destroying my penis?" It may or may not have amused me thoroughly. Uh, yeah, I I can I can tell. Ah oh, dear. Alrighty. Shall we call it? Because it's getting close to to midnight. And I have to do um, Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, you do the outro and everything. I'm just going to carry on uh, jet washing to the very last minute. That is fine. Yep, that is fine. So, alrighty. In that case, uh, yeah. Yeah, you keep jet washing by all means, I don't mind. Yeah. I'm also going to do this little corner here. All right. All right. So. 
I think the um, most of the slide is done as well. So we got most of the slide here. Wait, still not done the um, thing, still got a slide. Oh no, this this bit here. This uh, the the merry-go-round. <coughs> I'll let you um finish that bit. But yeah, we've got like half of it. We got half of it. I got the slide, so I'm proud of that. I did something. I mean, the um this the thing's very easy because it's all like. Alrighty. So, we'll wind it down now, because it's very late, but uh, are you free next week for a bit more? Yeah, most certainly I am, yeah. Okay. I can. We'll do another part of this, I reckon. And uh, contrary to uh, Novi coming in at the beginning and be like, oh yeah, it's stealing, uh, I was specifically asked to do this by one of our viewers, so I was going to, uh, I was going to give her what she asked for. Anyway, right, to those of you who have stopped it, my name is Silver, and I am your host. We play a lot of GTA, Resident Evil, retro games, and just other good, fun, random bits and bobs. So, if any of that sounds like um, your jam, then please... Feel welcome to uh, stick around, slam the like button, subscribe. We stream several nights a week, and we also have been doing food shorts and even branching out into AI-generated music as well, which you may see on the channel from time to time. If you want to be kept up to date with everything we do here, you can follow us on Twitter or X at Silver Gaming Network or by following the handle SilverGaming01. You always know when we go live and you never miss out when we have a live stream. Hey Leo Mon um the you know you know the funny thing is even though you were like, I demand retribution for Lawnmower Simulator. We've uh, we've quite enjoyed this now. So there's a very good chance we might even come back for a part two. Or even a part three. So you can expect more. You asked for it. You will get some more, Leo Mon. I mean, I, def I definitely, I'm definitely want to do this again. Yeah, I'm happy to do this again. It's, it's a lot more therapeutic, I've found. Yeah, right, the merry go ground is 100% done. Cool, thank you, Neil. And I think when we come back, I'm happy to continue the climbing frame. Like, if you look, half of it's um, been done. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. here, it's, to, it's this, this multi purpose floor that's going to take the time. I can help you with that with some multi purpose cleaner in the next part. But yeah, thank well, you, Leo. Be, uh, Sorry. Sorry, dude. Sorry. I'm just saying, I, I think I will be definitely uh, playing it, like, in me on time. Yeah. Just to, like, get myself some upgrades. I mean that's fine. I'll um I'll pick up um obviously with this save because obviously it's the stream save and I don't want to get too far ahead with it. But uh, yeah, to um a thank you to Leo Mon for uh suggesting that we do this because it's actually been half decent. It has legitimately been half decent. So, I mean the thing is, if there's a contract you want to do, like in your spare time just for fun. You can do it, and I can always go, I can leave it, and then we can show it, like, as you're the guest on mine, you know, visit to me. I mean, it's not, it's not really something that has a linear storyline that people need to tune in for part one, part two, part three, is it? It's just taking up jobs, power washing things. Yeah. I mean, I, I presume there's, like, a slight storyline, but I don't think it's that intense. Yeah, I wouldn't expect too much here. It's not going to be Resident Evil lens of storyline. But uh, yeah, anyway. To those of you who want to support us even more than you already do, you can follow us on... I've done that already. You can, you can become a Silver Patron over on Silver Gaming Network 
for £2.50 a month, or you can hit that big red join button on the channel, and every channel member and silver patron gets an exclusive shout out at the end of every live stream pre recorded Let's Play part. That's £1.99 on YouTube and £2.50 on Patreon. And every channel member and silver patron gets an exclusive shout out. I've already said that. Sorry, it's getting lit. Uh, it is getting lit. So, once we have finally got a bit more recording time, we'll be starting a new patron exclusive and channel exclusive or member exclusive series for the channel. That is immensely disturbing, Jonathan. And yeah, that will be. I'm actually God. Pokemon Leaf Green. God, that is creepy. It, a special thank you to. <laughs> Go! Our silver patrons and channel members at the time of this live stream. Mr. Jonathan, thank you. Mr. Jonathan, Reese Free, Jay, Kota Okami, Jacob the Dabbler, and Julio. And a dinky little special extra thank you to Leomon for recommending this. Because this is, um. This is actually, um. Quite fun. And yeah, the next time you're in, you're in um, another stream. And Novi goes, why is Silver stealing? Just let just let him know. Hey, I asked for this. Is revenge for Lawnmower Simulator, Leomon. Let him know. You tell that bug what it's about. Anyway. To the rest of you who have stopped in. You have all been super awesome. And thank you very much for stopping in. And I will, of course... See you in the next one. So, guys, I have been Silver, your host. Have a fantastic morning, afternoon, or night. And, oh, by the way, obviously, let's not forget, joined by our co host and friend, Mr. Jonathan. Let's not forget that bit. Let's not yeah, forget Jonathan. Yeah, it's been great being here. It's been, it's been great being here. Been great yeah. being here. Yep, yep. Very good. We'll be back for some more next week. But yeah, have a fantastic morning, afternoon or night. And we will see you again very soon. Take care, guys. See ya.